So Galaxy J7 2015. Yep, every month new ROMs are coming and you guys are installing. So this is about a new beta ROM which is known as the Raybox OS. So it's ported from the Galaxy J7 Prime by Madara. So very very thanks to Madara. Let's just go and open up the settings and see what's inside this room. So let's hop into the settings and then let's just go to the about phone. Yep, and now click on the software information. So it's running on Android 7.1.1 on the top. Kernel version is Redon Kernel version 3 beta and the Android security pass stable is December 1, 2017. So you will get rounded corners on the first boot so here it is this is the kind of home skin you get from the first boot and if you want to disable the rounded corners simply just go to settings and then just open up the app section just go and open up the app section right here and after that simply click on the three dot menu and show system applications and scroll down scroll down scroll down until you see the corner fly so this is the corner fly and click on that click on disable disable the application after that just simply click on the four stop and it will just simply remove the rounded corners and that's how you remove the rounded corners you can see it's gone now let's go and open up the settings and there we need to select the device maintenance because a lot of people are interested in the RAM management. So let's just click on the memory and see how much we get. So we get about 300 and plus above RAM free, which is kind of good. But still, if you want to get a little bit more boosted performance, I suggest you to install the Radon kernel version 4 to get a little bit more better performance on this device. Like you will have about 500 above RAM free. So that's pretty much good to know. Now let's talk about some minor bugs here and there. So first of all, if you just swipe to the camera, you will see and filter overlapping issues. So filter is not working, but I will try to provide a fix in the description below. So just go and flash that and let me know in, down in the comment section below that if it works or not. And one more other bug, which is if you just set up a pin or a password, well it doesn't actually work like if you just simply just type a pin click on ok then done then just simply turn off your screen let me show you and just swipe up it it's literally unlocks and it doesn't require a pin so that's kind of huge bug i think but yeah pattern is working but pin and passcode is not working and let's just go to the settings and the advanced features and yeah there is no app lock here or the floating messages but i will provide the link to the app lock and the floating messages too so just simply flash that on twrp now let's just open some applications and see how the device handles so let's open up the contacts the phone dialer the samsung internet browser and whatever every applications are running well and there are no lags but i always suggest you to install the radon kernel version 4 on this rom to get a little bit more boosted performance and by the way everything is okay and there are no issues with the hotspot or bluetooth everything is working properly fine and if you are wondering that the vpn works or not well vpn is working and anything more well no it's working fine that's all i'm going to say and yeah if you are wondering about the advanced reboot and yeah it's available so you don't need to worry about that at all so guys that's pretty much it for this video and hope you guys enjoyed and note that guys this is just a beta preview and yeah there are some bugs here and there so please don't comment anything bad on the comment section below and this is Shomo, see you in my next video.